Hi guys, Dan from New Jersey Dog Training Center here with George, Tonka, and Kate. Yeah. We're going to talk a little bit about the vacuum. Now, some of you guys have, have issues with your dogs being around a vacuum. Alright? Um, why? Why is the vacuum such a scary thing? Alright? It makes noises. It smells. It only comes out when you guys have to clean. Just like thunder and lightning. All right? So keep it out more often. Get your dog comfortable with it. Get them to check it out and see what it is. All right? Make good things happen around the vacuum. Don't make it the vacuum come out and let the dog run away from it. And continue to practice that. That scary thing is a monster that comes out of the closet and it makes scary noises and I run away and I get I get comfortable when I run away. No, show your dog it's a, not a scary thing. I mean, yeah, it's big, it's bulky, all right? It moves around like it's gonna eat the dog. You can practice with the dog, with vacuuming while the dogs are doing their job. Now you probably can't see me because I'm out of the picture, but they need to continue to doing their job even though we're vacuuming. If they break off their place for it or doing their job, you need to correct them. You need to fix the problem, put them back on place, go back to vacuuming. If your dog can't handle the situation, then don't go any further. I, I. Just fix it. Work on this slowly. Don't think that your dog is going to handle it with plugging it in, turning it on, making the loud noises, and, and knock it into the dog with it. All right? Your dog should be able to handle it at a distance. Then slowly get closer and closer. Don't forget to reward your dog for doing his job. Good boys. There you go. Good job. All right? Oh, there you go, Tonka. Here you go, want another piece here? Here, have another one. All right? Just don't overwhelm your dogs all at once, one time. Bring the vacuum out, put the dog's food bowl by it, feed it there. All right? You can even lay it down. Take your dog, walk it around it. George, let's go. Now watch the dog. When he sniffs at it, oh, you want to get away from it, right? Come on, check it out. What is this? What is this? Good. What is this? Look, I got some food for you. Look, it's right there. Good. You're eating off of it. Good. There's a little piece right here. Right there. Good. All right? It's not a negative thing. It's a positive thing. Just moving the dog around. All right? You may teach the dog to jump over it. Come on, George. Come on. Good job, George. Yeah, now we're using it for, you know, for agility work, doing you know, some obedience. Like a scary thing here, right? What is that? Good. He's taking a sniff on his own. I probably blocked it. All right? Yeah. You want, 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 you like this thing now? All right? Place. So don't overwhelm your dogs. Take as much time as they need to learn about this. Just don't overwhelm them. Freak them out. Um, practice it as much as you can and take it slow. Thank you very much. Have a good day.